Uh, hey guys, Steve Araujo here with the Bass Hang, and I'm here. Uh, I'm Griff Hamlin from Blues Guitar Unleashed. All right, we're going to be demoing and doing some video on the Nobles ODR One pedal. What have awesome. you heard of this pedal, Griff? This is this is a somewhat legendary pedal. Actually, it's uh, been around, I think, for for years and years, off and on. Um, it's one of those classic tones you've heard on a bazillion recordings, and you probably don't even know it. All right, guys, enjoy. So. With the ODR1 first, um, let, me, let me give you a feel for the reference tone. This is a, uh, a Koch studio tone. Uh, we're running it through kind of a uh, medium-sized condenser um, microphone here. It sounds great. Nice kind of bright spanky with, uh, with the Strat. So the first thing that we want to do with the Nobles is show you a, uh, a, low, a low drive setting. So right now, just a, just a little hair on it. One of, the, one of the really cool things about this pedal that I've discovered is the spectrum knob on it. So instead of having an EQ, it has this thing called a spectrum knob, which basically, I'm not really sure how to describe it other than it goes from taking and sort of closing the, the, the EQ on the pedal, keeping it nice and tight, and then it opens up the more you turn the spectrum up. So if we turn the spectrum knob all the way down, you'll hear that it'll get quiet and you'll lose a lot of high end and a lot of low end out of this pedal. So that's a dark tone. If you had a really bright amp or a really big boomy amp, this might be where you'd want to go. Let's crank it all the way up now and you'll hear that, that this is really going to open up and gain quite a bit of volume. So you really want to match that to the amplifier. Uh, on this amp, for me, right around six on that spectrum knob seems to be the place to be. So we're gonna we're gonna set it at six and kind of go from there. So if you're doing the country thing. Just that little bit of bite. It'll work good for that, but let's crank up that uh, the drive control to about uh, five, and you get some real kind of uh, real thick blues tones. crunch so if you're doing kind of a crunch rhythm thing it's really good for that middle pickup sound Now if we crank the gain up all the way on this, it's got quite a bit of gain on tap. So uh, check this out. higher gain settings, you know, of course I've got a low output Strat here uh, with some uh, Lindy Freeland pickups in it, so it's not really hitting the pedal that hard. Let me switch over to a Les Paul and you can hear what these higher gain settings can do on this pedal. Alright, so as you can see I've got my Les Paul now. And that's where the thick tones that come out of the high gain settings on this pedal really shine. <laughs> But 
Well, what's cool is it's also very sensitive to uh, the volume knob. So if I bring the volume knob back. So then also uh, I'll show you, uh, I'll back off the drive uh, again about halfway uh, if you want more of the Les Paul, you know, bluesy tones. So now with the drive at about five. <laughs> the guitar come through now. Now if, again if I kind of back off on that spectrum knob you'll hear it'll it'll kind of get smaller. Not as much high end, not as much low end. And if we crank that spectrum knob up all the way, you'll hear it'll let all of the sound of this pedal come through. On this amp might be a little bit bright, but on, on your amp, uh, that may be just what the doctor ordered. This is definitely a very cool way to tailor this pedal specifically to your amplifier, which is a very important thing because so many pedals, you know, it, it works great with one amplifier and it works horrible with another amplifier. So uh, that's pretty much it for this guy. It's a, it's a great pedal, really, really digging it. There's a whole lot of good sounds in there, both with strats and with Les Pauls. The Spectrum knob really gives you the, uh, the power to tailor it specifically to your amplifier and your rig, which is a huge bonus. So it's a great pedal, definitely check it out. So for me, the sweet spot for, for this particular amp uh, and this particular guitar, right around, uh, I like about six on the drive and about seven on the Spectrum. This seems to tame a little bit of the high end uh, of the amp, but still let a lot through, so it's got some bite. Uh, you'll hear you can kind of get your ACDC on. Actually not what I expected. Uh, this is this has been a, a real pleasant surprise. I've really enjoyed playing it. Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go to the Nobles website, which I'm going to list. Uh, go to thebasshang.com. Again, I'm Steve Araujo, and please check out Griff Hamlin's site at bluesguitarunleashed.com. And thanks for joining us, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.